In this video, I will show you how to fix the Roblox error code 264. So if you are trying to play Roblox and you keep getting an error message come up that looks like this with an error code of 264, make sure to follow along with this video so you learn how to fix this error code. So with that being said, the first thing you're going to want to do is load up your internet browser. So for myself, I do actually use Google Chrome, but if you use something like Firefox or Google Opera, then just follow along. The steps are basically the same, it's just the settings might be in a slightly different place. So what you're going to want to do is load up your internet browser and you want to come up to these settings. So for Google Chrome, that's the three dots up in the top right hand corner. You just want to click onto this and then come down and click onto settings. And once that's done, you're going to be taken to your settings page, which is going to look like this. And what you're going to want to do is look for the reset and clean up option. And you can see mine is showing up down here. Now you might not see this, but if you have an option, you might have something called advanced. And if you click onto advanced, it's going to bring up some further options. And one of the options should be the reset and clean up. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and click onto this. And then what you want to do is actually click on to restore settings to their original defaults. So what it's going to basically do is reset Chrome settings and Chrome shortcuts, disable extensions and delete any cookies and other temporary site data. Now don't worry too much because your history, bookmarks and passwords will not be affected as it does say here. So all you want to do is go ahead and click the blue reset settings button. And what's going to happen, it's just going to take a minute or two to run through and reset the settings. The next thing you're going to want to do is come to the bottom left hand corner to the search bar and in here you want to type the following. So you want to put a percent first of all and then you want to put temp T-E-M-P and then another percent symbol. So it's going to bring up a folder that looks like this. So percent temp percent. What you want to do is click to open this folder and it's actually a list of all the temporary internet files. So what you want to do is actually delete all of these from here. So if you hold control and press A, if you're on a Windows laptop or PC, and then press the delete button, what's going to happen is going to delete all of these temporary internet files from your computer to the recycle bin. If there's anything that comes up like this, what you want to do is just tick the box and click skip. And then just keep, keep pressing skip. And after that's finished moving the folders to the recycle bin, what I want you to do is try and load up Roblox. Now, hopefully that should have solved the problem and you should be able to go ahead and play Roblox as normal. If you're still getting a error message come up, the next thing I would recommend is to try using a different browser. So of course, if you use something like Google Chrome, what I would recommend is to use something like Mozilla Firefox or Google Opera and try and load up Roblox that way. Again, if it doesn't work, you can follow the steps for the first methods and give that a try. But if you're still having problems, then the next thing you're going to want to do is the following, which is to come down to the bottom left hand corner to the search box again. And in here you want to type network. And what you want to do is click onto this network status, which is going to come up in the menu at the top of the page. So once you click onto that, that's going to bring up a screen that's going to look similar to this. And from here, you want to click onto Network and Sharing Center. So if you actually scroll down, you'll see Network and Sharing Center here. So what you want to do is just go ahead and click that. And this is going to load up another window, which is actually going to look like this. And then from here, you'll see your internet connection here. So what you now want to do from here is click onto your actual internet connection that you're connected to. And then from here, you want to come down and click onto Properties down here. So this is going to load up a Wi-Fi properties window. And then from here, you want to click onto Internet Protocol version 4. So this option here, you just want to highlight that and then again, click onto properties underneath. So you're going to see this is going to bring up a window like so. And from here, what we're going to do is enter a manual DNS server address. So you want to come down here and click use the following DNS server addresses and make sure that's highlighted. And then in the top box, I want you to type 1 one 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 and underneath in alternative dns server i want you to type one zero zero one once that's done go ahead and click ok and you can just come out of all these windows so you can just close all these windows down now after that's done, go ahead and load up Roblox and hopefully one of those methods should have solved the issue. Now, if you've tried both of those methods and you're still getting a problem, then the last thing I would recommend is to just completely uninstall Roblox and reinstall to update everything and make sure there's no glitches with the version of Roblox that you have installed. So to do that, what you want to do is come back down to the search box in the bottom left hand corner 
and you want to click into here and type add remove programs and go ahead and open up the add all remove programs app from here just go to the search box and all you want to do is click onto the search box and type in roblox and once that's loaded up what you want to do is come to this search box down here go ahead and give that a click and type in roblox and you'll see what's going to happen that's going to bring up the roblox player and what you want to do is give this a click and click on to uninstall and that's going to go ahead and uninstall that from your computer once that's done all you need to do is go onto roblox.com load up any game and what it's going to do is prompt you to download and install the roblox player so of course once that's installed you will have the latest version of roblox and this should be the ultimatum this should be the ultimate solution if you're still getting issues out thereafter what I would say is to actually get in touch with the Roblox support team who should be able to look into your issues further and see if they can offer a resolution and resolve your problems. So I hope you found this video helpful today. If it did help then please drop a like on the video. I really do appreciate it and make sure you do hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials for everything tech and digital related. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video.